Basketball, you, I'm back. Gonna hit your gritty. It's the Daily Trainer, and we are back, ready to get after it. Basketball, you, I got a couple people who said they're a little out of control. They can't get some buckets, so guess what? Today, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna see that basketball go in the basket. So let's go. First drill I want you to do is sit right under the basket. And we're gonna get them lays, right? We're just gonna shoot it up. We're going to score it. We're going to do it on the right side. We're going to do it on the left side. We're only going to do this 10 times because we're going to do a lot around the basket today. All right. Then after that, what I want is I want you to do the Mikins. So now you're right under the basket again. You're giving me the one step Mikins. And then you're doing the two step. So you're getting two feet on the ground. You're getting the Mikin out. And then you're doing another one over and over again. So you're making 10 there. Then what I want is one step layups. Okay. You're going to make 10 on each side there. So now we got all these drills, right? We're just making 10 of everything. And we're seeing that basketball go in the basket over and over again. So we're figuring out the angle and all that's great. But now we're going to start moving away from the basket just a little bit. So now with the one step, we're going to go hash mark to hash mark on our layups. Okay, but we're going to go up each level. So we're going to go right and finish left and finish then we're going to step back one then we're going to go right and finish left and finish then we're going to step back one again and we're going to keep going until we get to the i believe the three point line okay so that we can dribble up and finish okay so we're going to do this two sets okay then after we make all of those you're going to be just a little tired when you go do these consistently over and over again within the tens right so let's go to the free throw line real quick okay make five free throws to calm yourself down just a little bit then I want you to shoot the floaters, okay? So then we're gonna shoot floaters. All right, after we do floaters, we are then going to go five spot layup. Oh yeah. Gotta be in shape for this. Most definitely gotta be in shape for this. So that's the next thing that we're gonna do. Remember, you're going from the baseline to the wing, to the top, to the wing, to the baseline. And then you're coming all the way back around. We're gonna do this two times. So you've done all these drills. We made about 80 layups right now. So you, you really got to almost, no, probably 100 actually. We probably made about 100 layups. So really you're just understanding how it's going to go off the glass. That backboard is your friend. Even in the floaters, just got to really, really understand your touch, your momentum going in, your steps, your rhythm. All these things matter on such a simple shot as a layup. You'd be surprised looking at a stat sheet if they kept missed layup tallies. How many teams actually missed layups? Easiest, most high percentage shot in the game. Probably missed the most when taken the most by a team. Okay? So it's pretty crazy. So I want you to do that. Then obviously I want you to get a water break. Then we're attacking that rim. Oh, yeah, it's time. Okay, so now we're going to go into our, again, that side dribble attack. Okay, we're going behind the back to start. Then we're going through the legs. Then we're crossing over. So we're going to flip it and reverse it. Yep, kind of like Missy. Exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go on both sides. Today, I only want you to make three of each dribbling move so behind the back you're gonna make three through the legs you make three crossover make three then go to the other side and do the same thing then what i want is for you to attack from the top working those combination moves just straight away attack without the help defense and then the secondary defense changing those speeds you can do whatever move you want just make five layups on both sides okay and hopefully you're not too tired after that because, yes, we do have something new in store for you. And that's going to be our wave dribble drill. Oh, yeah. Got to have that. So, again, the wave dribble drill is going to be you waving. And then you're going through the C gap, the B gap, and the A gap. Remember, the C gap is the outside gap. B gap is the middle. And A is the first wave gap that you're going to attack. So we're going to do that again. You're going to do that three times going through each gap and attacking the rim that way as well. So we've done all these attack drills 
everything going towards the basket, high percentage shot, being aggressive, trying to get to the rim, as well as get to the free throw line. So I just want you to remember all these different drills when thinking about how to be aggressive and attacking to the basket, and then trying to understand your momentum and your speed going into your layup so that you can make them consistently. All right, now you'll be a little tired. We're gonna get to that free throw line. We are gonna shoot five free throws once again, and then we are gonna get into some conditioning. Oh yeah, all the rest of this time is gonna be conditioning, so be ready for that. Don't you stop the video because you don't wanna run. You gotta be in shape, and you gotta be in the best shape, all right? So let's get into it. It's conditioning time. Basketball you, let's get your running shoes on and let's go. First off, we're going with that liner. Let's take off and let's do it. We got three of these today, three of these. The goal would be under 37 seconds and that would be good enough for me and good enough for you. Okay, remember the liner is baseline and free throw line, free throw line and back. Then you're going to the half court line and then back to the baseline and then to the other free throw line, back to the baseline and then baseline to baseline. Let's go, let's go. Okay, remember when you get tired, push through. Legs gonna get a little tight. Hamstrings gonna hurt a little bit. Quads are gonna burn a little bit, but that's okay, basketball you. This is what it's supposed to do. Then pick up that basketball because I know you missed it a little bit. Put it in your weak hand, left hand or right hand, and then we're gonna run a quick 17. Remember 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 sideline touches with the basketball only in your weak hand. However, you need to change positions with the basketball, try to keep it in that same hand. Then we are going to go with another drill where we are sliding zigzag, full sprint down, okay? Sliding zigzag, full sprint down, okay? So now we're throwing a smidge of the defense in there and then we're working on that conditioning again. And then our last thing we are going to do in conditioning, because I know right now you're breathing hard trying to hear what I'm saying, but there's a lot of breathing, so you know it's kind of hard to hear me. We are going to do our defensive slides again in the key, because that is just my favorite drill. I love it. Okay, we're gonna do it, and our goal is 19. For our overachievers and our hard workers, which everybody should be, but just in case you're not working as hard as you can, I would like you to go as hard as you can in this drill for 30 seconds, sliding key to key, touching 19 times. If you can get to 20, amazing. Please do it, okay? And then, I like to call this new segment a little extra work. So if you wanna put in that extra work, please be my guest, okay? We are gonna sprint from half court, down to the free throw line and we're gonna work our defensive slide, okay? And we are going to plant and push off one way, go across and come back and then backpedal all the way again, okay? We're gonna do this three times. And then in this extra work, we're also gonna do our two cone drill, okay? Where we are sliding over the top of the cones, sliding back across, and doing the same thing over and over again in three rows of cones. And then lastly, for our conditioning, we are going to jump rope 500 times. Not in a row. You can do five sets of 100, take a break of 20 seconds in between. And that, basketball you, is extra work. Are you willing to put in the extra work to be better than everyone else? Basketball you, that is my time. And I can't thank you enough once again for growing this channel into such a beautiful basketball safe haven of good information for everybody out there to have basketball you if there's one thing i gotta tell you what is it remember someone's always working are you